means switch on the fan. The switch had two settings, slow and fast. If he wanted to fly slowly, he switched the fan to slow. If he wanted to go faster, he merely moved the switch. Is that merely, actually? Merely, yeah. Are you thinking of... There you are. He soon relaxed the course that in order to fly any great distance, he would have to have a very long course. So he went all over the neighborhood barring ex extension? extension cords. Finally, he had so many strung together that it seemed to him that he would be able to fly around the world. World. After testing the machine thoroughly in his backyard, he was ready to make his first long flight. Perhaps he would fly around the world if he didn't take too long. His mother made him a lunch of peanut butter sandwiches and a pickle and kissed him goodbye. The flying hockey stick worked perfectly. He switched the fan to slow and climbed smoothly into the air. The extension... Right? Mm -hmm. the extension. You're right. Are you sure that word is extension? The extension cords. The extension cords on unwound unwound smoothly off the back and the hockey stick as he flew along. <laughs> and oh, what a thrill it was. He soared to the top of a huge oak tree and peeked at a family of birds in the nest. He waved a man in the window of a tall building. And surprised some people in an airplane. Then Barney and Barnaby? Barnaby Jones spotted some smoke rising in the distant distance and flew toward it. Soon he could see that it came from a burning building in a nearby town. Nearby, I think. Nearby town. Nearby. Switching the fan too fast, he was soon at the building in a window on the top of the floor. <clears throat> was an old lady. Some firemen were trying to reach her, but their lives weren't long enough. Help, she cried, save me. Barnaby. Barnaby? Barnaby flew up to her window. I can't believe my eyes, but I'm very glad to see you, said the old lady. Please climb aboard, ma'am, said Barnaby politely. The poor woman had no choice for the flames were getting close, putting on her sun Sunday hat. She climbed onto the hockey stick behind Barnaby Jones and they zoomed away. Mommy, Barnaby Jones. Yeah. He sounds familiar, doesn't he? No, I mean, Jinx. Oh. 
I know. That's what I said. You see what made it to her. <laughs> no. This is quite a contraption. Yeah. You have here, young man, said the old lady. After a while, she added, in fact, this is the most fun I've had in years. She enjoyed flying through the air so much that she decided to go with Barnaby on his trip. They headed out across the ocean. They saw flying fish and swimming fish. They saw a walrus on a rock. They saw a great whale surf sur face and send up a spell of water. Flying lower to see the whale, they spotted something else in the water. It was a man clinging to a board. Help, he cried, save me. Barnaby flew down to the man struggling in the water. I can't believe my eyes, but I'm very glad to see you, said the man. They hold him aboard. <coughs> Behind the old lady, he was the captain of a ship who had fallen overboard at night without being noticed. The captain asked if he could go with them. On their trip around the world, I mean, on their trip around the world, I can help with the navigation, he said. Barnaby didn't know what navigation was, but he liked the captain and welcomed him on the trip. They flew on across the wide ocean until they sight sight sighted sighted land and the distance. It looks like <clears throat> an island covered with Denise. Oh, distance. Oh, dense. This one. Dense. dense. Jungle and surrounded, surrounded by <clears throat> a sandy beach. As they came closer, they saw someone dash out of the jungle onto the beach. He was yelling and waving his arms, and no wonder he was being chased by some, hung some very hungry-looking lions. Help! He cried, save me! One more Barnaby Jones. Once more, Barnaby Jones pointed the hockey stick downward and zoomed toward the ground. Watch out, son, cried the captain. We're almost out of cord. Oh dear, cried the old lady. Barnaby zoomed in front of the lines and at that moments they reached the very end of the cord and stopped with a sudden jerk thanks to the captain's warning they didn't tumble off but the old lady lost her hat and barnaby's lunch went spilling out onto the ground the lines racing at full speed, tripped over the cord. Heads over tails, they went in a snarling tangle of teeth and tails and claws. 
I can't believe my eyes, but I'm very glad to see you, said the man on the beach. And without waiting to be asked, he jumped onto the hockey stick behind the captain. He was a hunter who had lost his gun in the jungle and then had met a whole family of hungry lions. Barney B. Jones wheeled the hockey stick around and up into the air. Looking down, they could see the lions eating Barnaby's peanut butter <coughs> sandwiches. The hunter was glad they weren't they weren't eating him. You came along just in time, he explained. Where were you bound for? Well, we were going to the world, but I guess we need a little more cord, said Barnaby. The travelers agreed that it would be best to return home where they were all collect in tension. Extension cords. And, and I can't see it. X. Extension cords. Extension. Ugh. <laughs> That's a big word. Extension cords. Then we can try again, said the little old lady who had really enjoyed riding on the flying hockey stick. She and the captain and the hunter were very great grateful. 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 To Barney B. Jones, for he had saved their lives when they got back. The old lady promised to bake cookies for Barney Me every Tuesday. The sea captain made him a model ship and the hunter gave him a huge moose head. Now, there are some people who will tell you that Barney B. Jones just dreamed this adventure, but if you go over to his house any Tuesday, he always seems to have plenty of cookies, and there on mantel is a beautiful mantel ship in a bottle, and over the mantel hands, the biggest stuffed moose had you ever saw in your whole life. The end. Can I show us the cover? Hmm. Oh yes, that's the book Grammy always read to me and my mom. He yes. read it. I didn't read it in kindergarten. I didn't mean that. I know, but I mean, I... Uh.